Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and boy are you in store for a good video today. So RJ and I drove a little over an hour to film this video as we had someone contact us telling us they had a Plymouth Fury sitting in a barn unmoved since it was parked there in 1990. So this car was actually parked before either of us were even born. And to our surprise, not only are you getting a barn find video today, but we found that the entire inside was covered in mold. So it's like a two in one for you guys. And before we get into the detail, YouTube is currently telling us that only 5.7% of you watching this right now are subscribed. So if you do end up enjoying the video, please consider subscribing as it's free. It really helps out our channel and you won't miss future videos just like this one because we have another really cool barn find coming next week that you won't want to miss. And lastly, we did get the owner's reaction at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way through if you want to see that. All right, guys, so this is Bobby, who is the new owner of this Plymouth Fury one from 1965. Um, why did, uh, what made you look at this and, and want to buy it? I don't know. I've been here for the past two years, come and visit him. And uh, he had the barn door open one day, and it just happened to uh, catch my eye and started picking, asking questions. And one thing led to another, and you know how guys are. Another project car, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's been sitting for how long? The last time it was played, he said it was 91. But this is from down south at one point in time, and it's been up here since 80s. Been in this barn since late 80s till now. Yeah, I think uh, we even pointed out that the last time it was tagged and plated was, what, 1990? 1990. Is that what that says? Jeez. Yep. I mean, the tires were flat. The old tires are in my bed of my truck. I mean, they're, they're, they're white walls, but they were just bottom yeah. pancake flat. You don't find these things like a once in a lifetime opportunity right we're extremely pumped to uh to make it look like new and we appreciate you uh letting us drive out what like an hour to come and uh yeah, i mean it's out here detailed, so i mean it's a whole different era man i mean i yeah. run cars every day like i said change the tires i never knew i'm doing this the passenger side it's all you know righty tighty lefty loosey driver side hit righty or lefty loosey i'm like why is it getting tighter yeah i mean back their logic was so the tires so the lug nuts don't come off they had the driver's side lug nuts face the reverse threads because the logic was oh, it well, spins out. I guess. <laughs> what, that was a logic. They stopped doing it in the yeah. 70s, so it obviously doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when she's all polished up, cleaned up, and uh, and looking good again, what's what's the plan? Is this the a plan, Sunday driver? Is this, uh, that, that, that is the plan. I, yeah. I plan on taking it back to my shop and uh, just going over what it needs because it's, I mean, it's been sitting, so all the fluids and whatnot. I already threw a boroscope in the gas tank, and it's just pure rot. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been sitting for who knows how long, so I can only imagine how nasty that is. Right. I'll either get that fixed or get a new tank, and then, I mean, there's not much wiring to go through, so right, <laughs> it's right. simple. Oh, and that, just get it cleaned up and roll it again, check all the brakes and whatnot. Yeah. And this is, it's cool, they look clean, and I, once in a lifetime opportunity, man, you don't find these many often. You do, but you don't right. at the same time. Well, it's flipping hard for us to find these cars, too, so we appreciate you reaching out and. Yeah, we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get started. Let's go for it. Cool. So I want to take a second to ask the question of the video, so leave your answers in the comments below. If you guys have any positive comments for someone who might be struggling in our community right now, I just want to make sure a lot of you guys know that you're loved and that whatever you're going through, if it's not going great right now, eventually it will get better. So if you guys want to leave some uplifting comments below, we're going to be liking some of them and responding to a lot of those comments because we want to uplift everyone and I know a lot of you guys come to these videos to find some happiness and peace. Okay, now finally getting into the detailing, we wanted to start with the wheels. And as you heard in the beginning, the owner had to take the original ones off because he tried to fill them and it just was not working out. So he put on some other ones, but it's been a while since we've tried to smash a light goal on a video. And I think this would be a good video to do it on. So if we can get 5,000 likes on this video, that would be amazing. So take a second and hit the like button as it'll keep us motivated. It'll show us you guys are liking these videos and we'll keep making them for you. Getting into the rinsing off of the vehicle, because it was sitting in that barn for the last 30 years covered in dust, 
Uh, the dust actually acts as like a protective layer almost for the paint. So when you see us washing off the dust, the paint was not in horrible condition. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't great, but not horrible. So I just wanted to mention that. And also, you guys don't have to worry about us washing it outside. It was actually a pretty cool day. It was not hot, even though it was a little bit sunny. And while we were doing the detail between different steps, we were making sure to keep the paint wet and we were moving fast. So don't have any worries about that. It was all good in the end. After the engine bay was done and before putting any kind of wash mitts on the actual paint, we wanted to cover the entire car with foam so it could sit, pull some of that dirt off, let it drip off naturally, and then we'd go back, foam it again, and actually wash the car. That way we can put less scratches in it. Not that it really would matter because we're going to polish the car anyways, but when it comes to cars like these, we just want to take that extra step. It only takes an extra 5 to 10 minutes anyways, which is not a big deal.
After drying the Fury off, the final steps we took on the exterior were first removing the oxidation and some light scratch removal with a Rupes yellow finishing pad and Oberk finishing polish, followed by a full wipe down of the car with a ceramic sealant to both provide some protection and add some shine to our work. And lastly, we dressed the tires and the original owner was there with us and he threw the hubcaps back on because he figured that it would make the reveal at the end that much better. Moving on to the interior, we pulled out the seats first and I accidentally deleted that footage when we were filming, so I'm sorry, but then we went into vacuuming the car, we got it vacuumed, and then you guys will see the mold removal, which I think is gonna be very satisfying for you. Guys, if you watch our videos, you already know we've done quite a few moldy cars. Never ever have I seen one with a steering wheel like this, ever. Like completely covered, it was white when we started, and the entire color of the steering wheel changes by the end.
And to finish up the detail, we went ahead and put the seats back in. We cleaned up the door jams, cleaned the windows, dressed everything to give it a nice shine, bring it back to life, and then this car was good to go. And don't forget, if you guys enjoyed this video, to leave a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel, helps out the video. And also don't forget, the owner's reaction's at the end of the video, so you don't want to miss that. Up. Really I was well. gonna say, really well. it was gonna be hard to, you know, surprise, quote unquote. But yeah, I was like, oh, there's no way. That yeah, looks great, dude. Right. Yeah, no, the red came back. Uh, Everything came back. Nice, deep, and rich. It was pretty oxidized. That was probably the best, you know, 50 50 shot that we had. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, from what you looked like this morning, what you look yeah, like dude, now. Yeah, I was like, we pulled it out. I'm like, man, the outside looked terrible. Like, yeah. oh boy, the sunlight, but yeah, everything cleaned up. Holy. Sh <laughs> it was literally like a time capsule. Literally. Yeah, yeah it's uh, That's what you put it away like. Yep. Jeez. That's awesome. Yeah. That's what it looked like when I put it away. We think it may have been repainted just because we weren't getting any pad bleed. Yeah. Uh, any paint bleed, you know, color transfer. Yeah. Um, and then we went ahead and measured it a couple times with uh, the paint depth gauge and um, it was shooting shots all over the place. So usually it'd be a little bit more uniform, but. Yeah, it looks great, um, dude. I'm like blown away with it. Yeah. But what it was, I was expecting it like to come out like this. I'm like, I, I see it. Right. I just someone's got to put time into it. And I hate detailing. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to somebody man. else. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a pleasure to to do it. it. Ended up, uh, it was a fun day. It was a beautiful day. Too. I believe it. I believe it. So, oh, even the steam wheel came out sweet. Yeah. I was and thinking, like, oh, man, whenever we could like get it to run. Yeah. That's cool, man. It looks great. You guys did a great job. Thank you, man. Yeah, that it was, was a pleasure. Sure. Thanks for having us out here. And oh, anytime, man. Letting us use the space, the, the water, the electricity, all that. Cool. Like it I said, great. You know, thanks yeah, again, man. Course. Appreciate well, it. Thank you, man. It's a handshake gonna, for that They're going to all, yeah, freak out. We've both been vaccinated, so <laughs> we're all good. But, um, me. but uh, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all the support. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the yeah. Hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you next week. I have no energy, so I apologize, guys. But thank you.